The invasive little fire ants may be small, but their bite packs a painful punch. These tiny ants recently posing a huge threat to two critically endangered birds native to Guam. Department of Agriculture wildlife technician Peter Salas. When a chick is born and they poke through the top of the egg, that gives it more chance for the fire ant to go in and destroy the embryo before it's even able to basically live. So they'll eat the bird's eyes as well. Large infestations of little fire ants were discovered at the Koku and Sihek breeding facilities in Mangilao shortly after Typhoon Mawar. This according to state entomologist Christopher Rosario. And that prompted us to really get into action on eradicating eradicating little fire ants, but starting off with the eight-month treatment plan. And so that's what our, our program is consisted of. So obviously we're past that eight months. We're about two, two years in. With a targeted bait treatment and careful monitoring, the team nipped the infestation in the bud. We use two types of methods, um, and this is something that we plan, uh, Department of Agriculture does plan on teaching the public to do in their, in their property. So insecticide, bait it with peanut butter and a granular that has a protein bait in it. Since then, the Koku and Seahead caretakers were able to confidently begin breeding the birds, which has been put on halt since the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, there are 10 breeding pairs of the Koku and 25 total hatchlings since last November, plus five Seahead and a hope for more on the way. It's really big for me, me being native. I mean, my dad used to tell me stories how when it rains, they come out, Banadero. So it's really nice to see, and our numbers are going up. Hopefully one day I can tell my kids, hey, see the wild bird there? I help reproduce it. I help bring it back to Guam. A hope that once brown tree snakes are under control, future generations will see these birds spread their wings in the wild in Guam. Mitsuki Hiriyama, KUEM News.